from from another region that I was in. So I made my way back and vowed to protect the library as long as I shall live. And I lived here in the tomb. But the Yonti, they found me. But as I lay there dying, and as I passed into the other world, I swore that I would still serve my master, even though that I had been banned. You see, I was banned because I was accused of stealing books and selling them to merchants. I never did such a thing. I dedicated my life to the apprenticeship of my master Diderius. I was framed for this crime, and that is why I swore to protect this place, so I could regain the trust of my master. Oh, that is some um, significant dedication, I must say. Oh, yes! Well, I have, But I have we, failed! Well, oh, we can help you I can get this back. <laughs> help you get that book back, and possibly you will oh, be able to oh, be free. Oh, there's, there's a lot more than one book missing. The, the shelves were once full of knowledge. Now, they are just scraps. Hmm. Now the books that sure. remain here are falling apart. Hey, Twitchy, as, what's as up? Is. What value would the other books be that were stolen? <laughs> ah, well, as long as there are some books on the shelves, I would feel as if I have held my oath, and I have kept my oath and my honor intact, even though I wasn't fully successful i would i would still feel so much better if we could at least get some of these books but i cannot leave the library my friends for so i let me am get bound this right. here yes if, yes half work if, if there was on. no more books left then you you wouldn't have to stay here and guard the library because <laughs> it wouldn't be a library no more but i would still feel obligated i feel horrible Ledong, that all of the books are gone. They've they've just slipped. I I do not know what happened. I I do not right. know if I was lumbering or oh I, I failed. Oh! If we burn all the books, would that would that mean you could go burn and other things? Burn no. Why would you burn all of the, the books? P please change your. Uh, mode of thinking, or just she, at least a moment. Yeah, she looks over towards. She looks over uh, towards you, uh, right. Please do not let this half orc burn the books, the remaining books. Please, if you do find any, I trust that you will bring them back here to the study and library. Please, I beg you. I can assure you, Ilda, as a scholar, I would not let something like that happen. Hmm. Ah, oh, those words are music to my ears. And she... Oh, I can't feel them, though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, really, uh, Trump? well, then maybe what we have a mutual saying? agreement. We get these books together, you tell us where the well is, and we save the world from Tiamat. Agreed? Mm. I agree. Yeah, and we don't burn your books, if you tell us what okay. we need to know. Oh, this, this orc. I sense evil in this orc. We we won't be burning the books, however. Well, if she don't tell us what we need to know, we might just as well burn the books because she's useless. I can understand why she would not. Want she to disappears, tell us. and she you know she flies between shrimp and veg. This is, oh. It does not useless, and all of a sudden you just hear, you know, you just feel the cold go between, you know, you and you and Shrumpve, and then she, the voice and the wails and the echoing just disappear, and then you hear her say, "Please bring back some books." Uh, for the love of Ion, you know, you see, at least told us where the chamber was. Well, she wasn't gonna tell us where the chamber was. Till we bring in back the books, and I haven't got any books. Well, did anyone notice any books along the way? 
No. Uh, well, let us uh, look for books then, I guess. However, if we find the spring or the fountain before then, I don't know. We can skip ahead, I suppose. Oh! So you've just abandoned this poor, poor haunted spirit. What is, what is? Well, you just looking after the books? Just well, a minute ago, you were threatening that poor bit, that poor spirit. What are you saying now, Ashram? Uh, what do you mean, Trump? First, you were going to burn, burn it all here. Yeah. And now you're you're saying uh, you're not that uh, poor. Nah, they was got. They was. I, was I think get Trump is books. trying to be an instigator. Trump, I'm sorry, they was was gonna get all the books for the for the spirit, and then she's then she's changing the mind. She's got to stick to one plan or the other. Well, let's right. not worry about it and just move on and see what we find. You know, if we if we can find the books, fine. If we don't, oh well. We have a we have a job to do. Sort of the like a, for all a we job in a job. The right mask. Everything else is second. We have what they call a side quest. So let's exactly. move Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that was what I was wanted to say. Everything else is a side quest. Side quest. That's true. Everybody click on Ilda. Everybody right click on Ilda with the little exclamation point on her head. You're right, yeah. I've already <laughs> added it to my journal. I, oh, it was added automatically. Whoa. Right. <laughs> well, I don't think we're going to find anything else in here. Um, that was a horrible sounding ghost. That other ghost. door appears to like, it would connect <laughs> back to where we came. So I'm going and to go... And you didn't notice anything while you were searching around the room? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. I'll even go as much to say as I you... I saw no magic either. Yeah, you, you check the door, Widow, and it does. It it goes to the other room. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back into the other room. I, I'm gonna keep an eye out for books. <laughs> no books well, in here, mean, just a, a, lot of books. a giant uh, clay colossus. Dead. I'm gonna just kind of take a very quick look at this door. I don't want to. I don't want to um, check every single door, but you you might as well. Might as well. From the dungeon. Yeah, it that's is. that's what your the, skills. The first is one you don't for. check is going to be trapped. Exactly. Don't open another trap, I tell you. <laughs> Looks good. Looks good, Widow. Right. I go ahead and push it. Push the door open. I should start sending tells to you on what I think. What you think, you know, as you check what your mind is oh, like. Oh, I'd, I'd I love th to have just player knowledge about what's happening. <clears throat> yeah. No, only yeah, that would be cool. I think th I think that would be a a pretty cool thing to do. I might start doing that. Uh, let the players communicate that to the group in in yeah. in, in role play. Yeah. Dave, I, I go ahead and push this door open. Okay. Moving on. Okay. So you, so you push the door open and and the first thing you notice is there are stairs that are, you know, leading up. All right. Now, also when you open the door, on the inside of this door in big words is wrote danger. All capital letters. Danger. Does that ring any kind of bell? Remember, because you found yeah, other like doors. Yeah, door. exactly. So whatever was past this door was da dangerous to someone or something. But you guys have eliminated the danger, being the Colossus. Mm -hmm. uh, assuming I'm going to see this as I, I go through the door, uh, what the language are, is it written in common? It yeah. isn't. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It is written okay. in common. Yeah. If it wasn't, I would use the language. Oh, you know, I'm itching to use that that language filter. I would. I would definitely use the language filter. Oh yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's yeah. that's yeah, awesome. I don't, I don't have my orky language in my little doppy down thing. That's because you have it uh, marked as orcish. You had to put it as orc in your. Uh, I think it's under. Yeah, you guys, uh, whatever languages you have... Under abilities? Yeah, under abilities at the very bottom. Make sure you match up 
exactly orc or orcish on on your abilities tab, like Vey was saying, because if it's not identical, then it gotcha. won't uh, the filter won't you know catch it. So well, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry about no. I was gonna say that the staircase goes up about 20 feet, and it's it's actually a, a pretty steep pretty steep uh, staircase. Try uh, you know going up. And uh, you can see that there is light coming from a uh, very large open room, as you can see. You, I mean, you can't see anything in the room, obviously. You're 20 foot below the room. But you can actually see that that room is lit. And you can, you can also hear noises coming from that room also. Well, Piers, uh, you hear that guy some also? type of squabbling. Definitely do not have the. the don't know, do not know what they're saying. I kind of whisper back to the party. There's someone up there, but we also have other parts of this dungeon that we we you know we we bypassed. Do you want to? Sure, want sure me to go we, up? Or sure. do you want me to go back? Do you want to sneak up and find out what language they're speaking and and see who they is? Well, it's not something that I can. Well, I can go ahead and sneak up the stairs and see what, um, if I can get a better idea of what they're saying. And don't get us in trouble. Alright, bite me. Never mind. <laughs> I, mean, see, I must say, that's been almost 30 minutes and, and Misty hasn't landed this in one fight yet. Hey! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. I thought I was going to leave it to you this time. Uh, okay, Dave. Fights. I'm going to start climbing these stairs, kind of pressing my body up against the wall. Okay. Um, to avoid as much of being seen as possible, you know. Uh, okay. and I'm also mindful of the stairs because, just in case there's a, you know there's anything that's falling apart or unsafe, uh, this place doesn't seem like it's it seems pretty old. So, <laughs> um, so I'm gonna just kind of go about halfway up the stairs. And see if I can understand what they're saying. Okay, so you get up about halfway halfway up the stairs, and you can see uh, a little bit of of what's going on here. You can you can see uh, a little bit inside of the room. Now, it is definitely a a, a dimly lit room, and let's see. I, I want to look at your your character sheet really quick. Yeah, you you have no clue what to. All you can hear is some gibber jabberish. That's that's all you can hear is some. And you know you can hear uh, you know, what appears maybe maybe some dishware that's kind of clanking and clacking together. All right. Well, if it sounds like gibberish, maybe it's it's like uh, orcish or something. Uh, so I reach down there. I mean, I look down at this. And say in wave uh, sharp up and say, Let's see if you can hear what this is. I listen very careful with my ears. You definitely do not know what it what it's what it is. You have no clue what that language is. This is something that you've never even heard. I step up too, I'll I don't hear it I'll, either. I'll step out of the way and let let they, the the polygot through. Yeah, they, you as well. You have no clue what they're saying. And and Tiberius, Tiberius. yeah, Tiberius, you have no clue either. And this is basically what, this is what it, it's. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go you know off. Who? Who? I'm gonna walk up here continuing to press my body against the the back of the wall. Okay. And kind of just lean around the corner with like one eye. Okay. And uh, see what I can see in there. All right, give me a stealth check. I I can do it. I know you can. I know you can. I have faith. Even if I, as long as it's not a one, I could probably pull it off. Do they have perception? They do not. Did it go through? Good. 
I rolled a horrible wisdom check. I rolled a seven. So she's probably going to be successful. Did you get it, Dave? I did not. I did not see a roll. Oh, now. okay. I saw it go. Yeah, I, I did a roll too for perception. So. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. What What you can see is you you peer around the corner. You can see five very, very, very unique looking creatures that are basically sitting at a you know a long table, and there are you know two long tables in this very long room. It's uh, about fifty five feet long, and you can see that there is a chamber that goes you know on on the western part of the wall west and then you can also see uh an angled type of wall and there is a a door a 10 foot wide door on the eastern wall and this is definitely some type of dining hall because you see a uh one one small sort of like a i, I want to say like a like an offering table where they put all the food on the wall and then there's a beautiful long white marble table that's in that's in this room and what's what's uh, unique about this is these are creatures that you've never seen before and these are what they look like all right and i'm going to i'm going to give you a uh, a handout on what these things look like i mean these these things are you know very 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 long spikes coming off of their 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 entire body you know they have a tail they're definitely humanoid they look like a very skinny troll basically very long fingers you know very very long sharp like sword looking claws and you know they have uh, uh, very long pointy ears and there's spikes everywhere and give me a uh, give me a history check really quick widow this might suck. I'm, I'm just terribly sorry. I misread that a dreaded devil. I thought it was <coughs> quite delicious. There you go. The only thing that you think is they're they're probably some kind of demon or devil, and you could they have no inclination that that you're there, and it seems like they're all you know the this large table which is in the middle of the room. Uh, you could get the jump on them if you wanted to. You you definitely well, would fine. have the you would definitely have the element of surprise. You know, and they, and they all have. It's a fairly dimly lit room, you said. It it, so. it is, yeah. And there are there are some sconces. There's probably a total of eight sconces on the walls with you know torchlight, making this a, a a dimly lit area. You know, it seems like they're just casually conversing with with one another. So I kind of look back at the group and kind of give them like a signal or something like. You know, unless they've got any arguments, I'm gonna go in here and take one of them out, <laughs> get ready for a fight. Uh, unless anybody objects to that, <laughs> I give her a thumbs up. We're not here to, uh, we're not here to party. No, exactly. This is not that. This, this is not a picnic. What is we have been invited? We, we have a we have a task to do, so I'll wave her on. All right, so I'm going to sneak up behind the one, the very first one here. We got to Dodge out of okay. the way of any sure. light. Just as you get back to the top of the stairs, you hear one of the one of the words that is distinctly said by this creature as Varum. You do s distinctively hear the word Varum between all of the Varum. Varum. And then they mention Varum a couple times. So, what do you want to do now that you're back at the top of the stairs and you've Converse with your party members. Well, I'm, I'm going to take Varum's, this one out. 
So okay. Beryl is the chap who came here before us, who, who got the job. He, after us. that is the one that you were, you are searching for Varum, because he lost the white dragon mask, and that's the whole reason why he's here, is to, you know, find this well. We well. can always leave one of these guys living or something and question if we can figure out. Well, they don't even speak our language, so. And <clears throat> we were all finished living charge in or what? Uh, I think we kicked some in. <laughs> I'm you sure they're happy. I, I got my finger on that assassination key, so. Oh my god, we got a trigger hat one. <laughs> well, we'll save one of them. We'll figure out the way to communicate with it. Yeah, we'll save one. Alright, Dave, I am definitely sneaking up behind this one. Do you need me to make another stuff? Uh, okay? I do. Yeah, I do. I do. I need you to make one more. <clears throat> yes, oh, and yeah, that was okay. yeah, that was a pretty horrible roll. So a as you stumble uh, over the stairs, you rolled a pretty bad. You rolled a three. So uh, all of a sudden, uh, these these the daredevil, you know, these uh, barbed creatures. They see you into the room and they pay you no attention, and they're just still con conversing with, with uh, with one another as you you know line yourself up behind this barbed double, uh, well this this you know this demon looking creature devil looking thing and it kind of looks around at you and kind of gives you a nod and continues talking with the others at the table. Well, fuck it then. <laughs> if if you want to line up the attack, I'll st I'll still give you the. Uh... No, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I'm, you know, um, I'm just gonna walk through here like I own the joint. Kind of sure. give him a nod back, and um, I'm gonna just walk over here to this over here on the um the west side of the room. You say that it looks like it gives him to another room, right? Um, did we hear that she was a little bit stumbling? Oh yeah, you, you, you saw her stunt. She tripped on that as she was kind of like leaning down on the, the stairs, peering around. She says, alright, I got this. Cover me, I'm oh, going. I see her stand back up there. I'm looking at yeah. her. What's going on? I kind of yeah. wave everybody up. And I just, it's no problems. I'm just, I told you, I'm walking through here like I own the joint. I'm walking right over here. Yeah. And looking into this next room. Shrimp yeah, sure. walks up looking slightly disappointed. Yeah, you you uh, you look and you notice that uh, there's a a chamber of stairs going down. And as you know, as you're looking, you know, uh, down this chamber, and you see this door that's you know about forty feet down this this forty foot flight of stairs. But you can also see inside this tunnel. There's a lot of uh, Looks like there's a lot of damage to the ceiling too, a lot of wooden planks kind of bracing up. What what appears to be there's the roof, and then there's this makeshift concrete that's coming down, and, and then the, you know the st and then so you're gonna have to duck your head a little bit as you descend another you know twenty foot or so down in there. But these creatures that are over you know over here uh, at the table. That one of them looks over at you, and, and and one of them says, "And who are you?" In perfect common. Oh, yeah. we're, we're, here, we're here for the food. What what are they eating, Dave? What are they eating? What sort of food? Actually, on on the plates are nothing. They're just uh, kind of clinging the 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 plates together, the the cups together. Uh, definitely. The table's been set for quite a long time because you can see a little bit of dust build up, but the whole room is, I mean, is, is magnificent looking. You know, there's uh, beautiful tapestries on the wall, uh, a couple more uh, small tile mosaics on the southern wall, and these, you know, these uh, creatures just are asking who you are. And who are you? We're explorers, isn't we? No, we're here looking for Verum, Trump. Yeah, that's it. We're exploring we're for Verum. For, yeah, we're looking for Verum, but you know, I, I noticed that you guys are set up here for a, 
for a meal. Uh, that's what, right. What do we have uh, tonight? No. That's right. We've been ordered to remain here. And you said, uh, Verum, are, are you are you in allegiance with Verum? Verum is our master. We are neutral. We're not in allegiance. But we'd like to say uh, We were once neutral as well, too. <laughs> but our boss doesn't like, uh... Eh. Our boss doesn't like Tiamat, so we've been, I guess you can say, nominated to help Verum take Tiamat out of the Nine Hells. My boss will be very happy. Lord Zariel. Who's your boss? Lord Zariel, the Archduchess of Avernus. Where's Verum now? Verum, why, we have no clue where he went. We've been here for some time. Uh, probably uh, several days of your time. Uh, what did you say your boss's name was again? It was Lord Zariel, the Archduchess. Lord yeah, Lord Zariel, Z A R I E L. Uh, a lord is a duchess? Lord Zariel, the Archduchess of Avernus. Is he transgendered? Mm. Yes, and uh, Lord Zariel wants Tiamat out of the Nine Hells, so uh, obviously these demons or devils, they want, well, their boss wants Tiamat out of the Nine Hells, so they've been nominated to help this Verum, you know, complete that task to get Tiamat the hell out of there so Lord Zariel can have it all to himself, basically. If they are helping to get Tiamat out... Is Tiamat causing some trouble? Too many, too many chefs in the kitchen, I think. Yeah, no, not really. Uh, but, you know, when, when she's down there, who else is gonna, who else is gonna, you know, contest to Tiamat? So, Tiberius, why don't you give me a religion check? And drop it into the drop it into the dice tower for me, sir. Roger that. Uh, Roger that. Also, did Verium find the well yet? We have no clue. We are still waiting to hear. But it's been several days, and I'm going to admit. Uh, I'm getting a little impatient, as we all are. Well, What's we downstairs, then? We might be able to help him find it. Tiberius, Do you know which direction he went? Uh, yes, he went, uh, they went, they went to the east. Now, Tiberius, you, you recognize these creatures as barbed devils. And they are from, they are from the Nine Hells. They are a... You know that they are a devil. A fiend. And you know that they are a very... Very vicious opponent. You've only heard stories. You've never encountered one. But they are very intelligent. And they put a... Put up a... A hell of a fight. A hell of a fight. And all of these... And you do notice that... All of these... These uh, creatures have glaives that are all, you know, laying on top of the table. So you see five of these humanoid creatures, and you see five glaives. In other words, we dodged a hell of a fight. <laughs> you sure are asking a lot of questions for being neutral. Well, uh, after hearing what you've said, I, tell, I think we might be on, um, on the I, Yeah, side. I tell the rest uh, what I know about... Uh, which was that they are bearded devils. Barbed. And so you just you flat out tell everybody, that's right, we are from the abyss. Demons, devils, they all bleed eventually. Trump, we're not looking for blood. We're a couple of them put their <laughs> yeah, a couple of them put their hands on their glaive and say, "I would watch your tongue, orc, 
if I was you. Trump. Apparently we're not here to fight, we're just here to find Verum. 